Henk Heathways, a soul burdened by tragedy, was born in the Netherlands in 1935. His story is absolutely gruesome and terrifying. We are warning you ahead of time, so watch this video at your own risk. Placed in the foster system, he fell under the care of Catholic priests, a setting that concealed a dark reality. Priests, entrusted with the well-being of vulnerable children, often betrayed that trust through abuse, and there have been many such cases. But Heathwees was not like other victims and decided to go public. Join us as we are about to reveal the saddest story in the history of mankind. Usually, victims stayed quiet out of shame and fear, and the abuse was quietly swept under the rug. It's been that way for centuries. Heathwees chose to defy the prevailing hush surrounding the abuse. In an act of remarkable courage during the 1950s, he went to the police to formally accuse the priests of sexual abuse. However, what awaited him was a cruel revelation of the absolute power and influence wielded by the institution he dared to challenge. Since he was still legally a minor at the time of the abuse, he found himself trapped within a legal system that deemed him a ward of the state, unable to make decisions for himself. Heatwees, not giving up, strongly said that he was raped and not someone who chose to be a part of it. In response, the priests, displaying audacity beyond comprehension, concocted lies. They painted Heathwees as a homosexual who had supposedly seduced them. Not scared by the lies, the young person kept saying that he had been raped and that he was in fact heterosexual. He also said he had a girlfriend and he hoped to marry her as soon as he reached the age of maturity. The influence of the church over the courts proved devastating. In a shocking decision, the court, swayed by the prevailing norms of the 1950s, deemed homosexuality illegal. Heatwees was given no chance for rebuttal or a second opinion. Instead, he faced the grim choice of years in an institution, chemical castration or physical castration. The court ordered his immediate castration, a procedure that left him mentally and physically shattered. They drugged the teenage abuse victim drove him to a clinic down south and strapped him to a table where they surgically gelded him. After the operation, they kicked him to the curb. Ethwi was broken mentally and physically. He abandoned his friends and his fiancée and became a sailor, attempting to escape the torment that clung to him. Yet, even in distant Japan, the scars and emotional turmoil haunted him. In a moment of desperation, he sought refuge at the Dutch embassy pouring out his story to a sympathetic diplomat. Heatwees, with visible scars and an unraveling mental state, pleaded, please tell my story. They may come for me. They may kill me. His friend, Cornelius Rogue, assured him that nothing will happen and they would not have him killed. But Heatwees was sure of it. Arrangements were made with the shipping company to have him brought back home to his country. When he returned, Heathwees, helped by his friends who knew his story, once again pressed charges. This time for forcible castration, lying about his sexuality and mental health problems, as well as slandering his good name. He still refused to surrender. He wanted justice. He wanted his good name restored. The tragic conclusion unfolded in 1958, when, shortly after pressing charges, Hank Heatwees perished in a car accident, extinguishing the flame of justice he so ardently sought. The police confiscated his belongings, and all evidence provided by the deceased was mysteriously destroyed on the very day of his untimely death, leaving behind a legacy of injustice and sorrow. Subscribe to Truth Revealed to stay intrigued and informed.